This is a video by Rich Pin. Uh, today I have a new tool for you. Uh, relates to the things that you see here. It's a new multimeter. Um, I got this question a lot. Is uh, you know, Rich, uh, um, I want to use my meter, and I, but I I don't know what scale. You know, I want to check the resistance on something. Do I use the uh, twenty mi million scale? The two thousand K scale. I mean, there's so many different scales out here. Which one uh, do I use? Well, what you need to simplify that is a auto ranging meter, and I have one today. I want to show you. And here's our new meter. It's a uh, Mastec auto ranging meter. I know I'm going to get slammed for this. Rich, why don't you go out there and get a fluke? Stop messing around with these things. Yeah, but, a f but geez, that's a couple hundred bucks for that uh, meter. This one's like 25. So uh, I think it'll do what we wanted to do. And this is what we got in there. We got uh, a little manual. And uh, what do we got here? We got our leads. Uh -huh. Oh, we got good for nothing batteries. Don't use these batteries that they give you. Right? Go out there, get some good batteries to go in your appliances, whatever you... you know what you could do is put these in your refrigerator, store them in there for an emergency. And we got this piece right here, which is for transistors. If you're so inclined to mess with that. Alright, here is our meter. What do we got here? There it is. It's not too bad. All right, let's get this thing up and working. All right, uh, we gotta take the uh, back off to um, put our batteries in there. It takes um, three triple A's. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What do we need here? A little screwdriver, maybe? Oh, right here. Alright. Gotta get that screw all the way out. Alright, now. There we go. Whoops. Oh, look at that. Got a little fuse here. Get those batteries in. Okay. Now, what do we got here? Positive that side. Positive that side. And positive that side. Now, let's get this cover back on. Okay, one last screw. Okay, great. All right, now, let me get closer here so you can see it. All right, here's a close up look at it. I've got a range button so we can go into manual mode. And we can hold we can hold our settings so it doesn't uh, fluctuate. We got a light, and then on our dial we got um, voltage with a squiggly line, which is AC. Voltage with a dot line, which is voltage DC. And we got um, we got ultra amps here, really small amps, milliamps, and uh, regular amps. 
And over here is our resistance setting. We'll be using that quite a bit. We got diode and we got a continuity with a beep. And let's see, what do we got here? We got um, this one right here, which is uh, capacitance. And over here we got uh, transistor. And right here we got frequency. Now supposedly, when you turn the dial, it will these connections will light up to tell you where you put your leads in. That's another question I get. Where do I put my leads? My black and red leads. Which one? All right. Let's say we're going to check the um, voltage DC. Now, when we put it over there, that should light up the corresponding places. Look at that. Tells you right there. That's where you have to put your leads if you want to check voltage. Now, what about resistance? What would it do if we put up resistance? Aha! Uh -huh. Same place. Now I bet you when we turn it down here to amperage it's going to tell us to put our lead someplace else. Let's take a look. Oh yeah! Look at that. See that? Got to put our leads right there to check amperage. That's a handy little feature right there. Uh, look at that, see? You want uh, you want milliamps? It's got to be in these two right here. And remember that the uh, COM right here is um, always the black lead to your, your leads. To your... Look at that. Neat little handy feature, huh? Alright, let's check some resistance with our meter. Put the scale to ohms, and it's telling us we have to put our red one there, and our black one here, and the light goes out when we do that. Now, what I've got here is some alligator clips that can clip onto the end of your probes. Comes in very handy. Just like that. Now what we're going to test is this unit right here. It's a crank sensor. A lot of people like to check the resistance of the uh, crank sensors. Now this particular one is a 99 Corolla. It's got two pins in there. And the resistance on this sensor when it's cold will be between uh, 1650 and about 2750. Uh, so, hook that up. With the other one, see what happens. Oh, look at that, zero, it's up, going up, going up. Look at that, 2074 ohms. Couldn't be any simpler than that. And you know it's going to be correct. It's auto ranging. Found the correct figure right there. Very good. Hey, let's um, let's check out this light button right here. See how that looks. I'm gonna to have to shut these lights off so you can see it. All right. Okay. Let's hit that button. Whoa, look at that. None of my other meters did that. Wow. I like that. Look at that. You gonna go out? Oh, look at how it fades out. That's cool. Wow. All right. Hey, let's check some voltage. All right, voltage. Leave our connections right there. Um, let's go DC voltage. We'll check one of those little batteries there. Okay. Now, this is a 
AAA battery and the voltage on that is um, about one and a half volts. Let's see what she reads. One point six one zero volts. Look at that, you can see up there. She has a scale showing that it's DC voltage. Over here we have a V for volts. Pretty good. Now the next thing we could check is the audible uh, continuity test right there. Let's say we turned the dial and we didn't know, we made a mistake, and um, we turned it down to uh, milliamps, right? Listen to that, and it's flashing, telling you, hey, you got your leads in the wrong place. Move that red lead over here. That's a nice little feature, huh? Okay, let's put our dial up here. We'll go over to the audible continuity test right there. Now what it does is it defaults to the diode because that setting can do both. So what you got to do is hit the select button right there. Second one over. Now she's set to give you sound. And what we can do is take this fuse and uh, we want to know if the, uh, the fuse is any good. So hook one end up to one blade and the other to the other one. Hear that sound? So the fuse is good. If, if it was blown, there would be no continuity through the fuse and you get no audible signal there. That comes in handy. So if you want to know more about your meter, you can look in the owner's manual here. She's not bad. I've seen a lot worse. All in all, it's uh, not a little bad meter. I think we'll experiment with it and uh, see how we like it. So that's all there is to looking at a Mastec MS8268.